Now I'm starting to deal with more of the, you know, an old hip injury I had in my lower back that's caused me to miss a few events over the years. So I'm just kind of digging in and, and uh, sorting those things out right now. You know, it just feels like it's the right thing to do. And, it, and as long as it's going to be consistent throughout an event and consistent throughout a year. All right. Well, let's have a look what's unfolding here. Frederico Marias just a little out of position there. And just remember what happened at the start of that last heat. We saw the same thing happen for, for Conor O'Leary. Took a wave, a little out of position. Priority handed over to Zeke Lau. In this instance, it goes to Michael February. And he's going to have that opportunity now to bank a big number using that priority. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Good wave selection from Zeke Lau in that last round two matchup. As we see Michael February use priority on that wall. Those ones that Federico is going to try and turn around right now for us. Let's see what he can do. Just gets his board up there for that first section. Winds through a nice carve. Dealing with the bumps on the face pretty well at the moment. Has the benefit of that height, that extra leverage that he can put into those front side wraps. Pacing himself through to the inside now. Now it starts to load up for that big finish. Kicks on that tail. And that'll be the best wave of the heat. Nine minutes to go. And nothing spectacular there, but just so well done. Arch through the second part that was just, it wasn't a clean face. So here's a little bit of a release there. Comes a little, a little more horizontal here and wraps that out pretty nice. Look at how the wave's wafting up and down. It's kind of backwashy. It's high tide. And, you know, here it's all about picking, like, that just that little chop. If you watch his board, find, like, a little curve on a chop, a little bump. See, right there, just any, any little spot he can turn off of. And then here you just try to time it, get a little bit of steepness, and he finishes clean. February on that backup board. Let's see what he can do. Draws off the bottom. Up into that lip. So that's, a, it's difficult out there at the moment. Such a hard wave to ride. Look at the bump. And, you know, if you're not just exactly above your board, if you're leaning too much and you're using too much of the ankle to keep that board under you, easy to do that. I mean, anyone could do that on that wave and just, you know, get nowhere. Federico gets back out with priority. He's, he's dominating the heat. So that's where a heat gets real interesting. And now you see he has his pick of the waves. There's only one good wave in this set. He's going to surf this smart. He's going to make his waves. He's right above his board. He's not trying to overpace. He knows that maybe a three is a good wave right now for a backup because very doubtful Michael's going to get an eight. Well, if any points that he can add above the current 2.5 that Michael February's hanging on to is going to be a, a bonus. But he oh. can't really stick that inside section. So you'd have to say that he didn't really make use of the opportunity to create a more dominant position for himself mm. in that instance, just on four minutes to go now. Frederico right above the board. You can see how he stays right above the center of the board. Nothing too radical. He knows it's a bumpy wave. You can't over-surf it. Uh, really smart, you know. I mean, he's although he's only second year on the tour, he surfs like he's been on the tour for a long time. I'm really surprised he actually didn't, didn't finish this wave off. But look how bumpy that lip is right there. And here goes Michael. He, he might have a really good opportunity. This wave might be pretty clean because a couple waves just broke before. Drives into that first section. Gets that hit off the lip right. The wave stands up for him. He gets out on the pocket. Just winds through that cutback. Just transition turns now on offer. Good little rebound there, making it a little bit more explosive, sending some water to the sky. But he needs a big finish here. Driving into this oncoming oh. section and it just lumped out on him and he went down he started that way great he paced it super well the second turn though i think is where he kind of messed up he could have gone a little more vertical and hit it earlier and come out of that with more speed talk us through it there pete <laughs> well Ooh. kelly chance in the books here but yeah i like how he had that first turn but this was the opportunity right going straight up but you took he said mentioned you got to stay out of the lip <laughs> it's a little bit challenging but you know what that high risk is what's going to be paying off so it is going to affect the score going out in the face. We've seen it all event long. And, uh, you know, if you attack the lip and you go higher risk, uh, you get a bit more rewarded. Words from Kelly Slatter. Kelly, best of luck with your recovery. Can't wait to see you get back on tour. And thanks for joining us for this heat. Heat six is a wrap. Frederico Marais doing just enough to hang on to the lead. Michael February out of the contest.